ngay à uh, i am grateful to the chair for giving me opportunity to present my views on the amendments being proposed to the folks act 2012 sir on behalf of ysrcp i support the bill sir i start with my mother tongue telugu pillalu devuni roopalu means children are viewed as manifestation of divinity children are gods any harm to the children is harm to the divinity and to humanity because of harmed children grows with a disturbed mind sir therefore violence against children is a crime but sexual abuse of children is a no less than a heinous crime it is in fact a sin without salvation sinner must be punished not only severely but also swiftly sir but what is happening the amendments to the bill 2009 shows the gloomy and the insecure situation of the children particularly girl children in the country sir almost all parts of the country the heinous crimes are occurring and increasing day by day the crime rate has increased the dimensions of the crime is also increased sir as per national crime research bureau records 2014 34449 cases are occurred in 2015 34505 in 2016 36022 cases are occurred sir this is clearly showing the increased crime rate in the country sir the folks who has act passed 7 years ago no legislation can foresee how the future unfolds if law is unable to meet the needs of changing the situations it must be reexamined in the light of new circumstances and social conditions in fact the every last law must be reviewed after 5 years to see if it is served the purpose in view of the present bill as a legislation in the social sector i want to draw the attention of this august house to consider if law is an effective means of solving complex social problems nirbhaya happened in 2012 in the same year the pokso act was made but the nirbhaya culprits are still alive long after being given death sentences and now they are planning to move curative petition first it is review petition then curative petition thereafter mercy petition can law give such a long rope to convicts of heinous crimes even after apex court confirms the death sentence even in the case of heinous crime in the cases of saravana case it took 18 years for the culprit to surrender and he died without spending a, a week in the jail as a first timer first time member of this august house i am thinking lively on the issue is it not the right time to put the timelines for judicial proceedings in our judicial delivery system there is a long gap between crime and punishment there is one of the major problems of confronting this country sir it is said that justice delayed is not only justice denied but also justice destroyed if the court proceedings are go on long can child a victim can a child victim sexual abuse to be able to recall the sequences of events accurately there will be a changes in her disposition which will be used by the accused to the child disadvantage the statement may be may be recorded only once that to soon after the crime victim need not be called to the court often or nor asked to recall the crime the bill seeks to the increase quantum of the punishment including death penalty my apprehension is that it may actually lead to the death of the victim in order to destroy the evidence of the by the culprits is this not be the possibility i am afraid it is sir we may not prevent the sexual abuse of children by mere making laws alone 
we need to create awareness and take preventive measures preventive prevention is always better than cure the success of law is measured with a wide active public participation in comprehending and obeying the laws in the case of posco it is absolutely necessary to sensitize the different entities like parents children teachers doctor police and judiciary yes to sir to understand the purpose of the act and spread the awareness among others this august first august house must realize that attitudinal changes can't be brought about law alone we need to adopt multi pronged approach promoting sensitive support to systems by using iec materials like slogans themes posters videos etc conducting awareness campaigns at educational institutions also making short films and screening them with you will educate the public at large scale as we did successfully in anti tobacco campaigns self help groups and ngos can play an instrumental role in conducting mass awareness camp programs children must be made understand that the sexual abuser may be her neighbor a family member a cousin or an uncle or a brother and a parent may be also a wide publicity shall be given to the quantum of punishment given to the offenders who are booked under the post also sexual abuse of children is a, an issue of public health an issue of human rights and an issue of social justice also sir i suggest to conduct campaigns like say, child assault awareness month months to educate the people and prevent sexual violence special sessions should be arranged to the parents about the possibility of child abuse in any form in any way the offenders of children sexual abuse shall be barred from entering in the to any type of job sir i strongly recommend speedy trial with a within a timeline also sir even appeal must have a timelines in case of women and children the compensation must be include rehabilitation of the victim and not merely limited to the medical treatment properties of the um, culprits may be seized sir and given to the victim also all potential culprits must be have a fear of consequences in their mind we from ysrcp strongly recommend that the institutional mechanism should be strengthened to enable to prevent any crimes sir support the victims whenever and wherever required sir thank you very much sir